Camshaft position sensor on a Skoda Fabio Mark 1, 99 to 2007. This engine is the 1.9 TDI ATD engine and uses the Hall G40 sensor with a 3 pin connector. If you've got a 1 litre, 1.2 litres, 1.4 or a 2 litre, it'll be the G163 sensor with the same 3 pin connection. They're all essentially the same device, but testing and voltages are slightly different. Here's a connection on my 1.9 TDI engine at the front. If your car is difficult to start or runs on, this is probably the culprit and is worth checking and possibly changing for a new one. The engine usually runs even when it's faulty, but you can get poor idling, running and lack of power with increased fuel consumption. But the main one is a long crank time, so it'll take a long time to start and eventually does. If you follow the cable alongside the block, you can see it eventually disappears into and behind the cam belt cover which it's housed behind and we'll need to take that off to make things easier to get at it's best to take the intercooler pipe off it's just held on with two clips to take the connection off we just need to slide it forward out of its mounting bracket and then with a thumbnail or a screwdriver just bend this little tab and it should slide off what you've got on this engine is an Position 3 is the brown earth wire with two other wires with the central one being the signal wire and the blue one the feed and we can take measurements on these with a multimeter. Set your meter to volts and test pin number 1 which is the blue wire to ground and you should get uh, roughly battery voltage. Which I do, just a little bit under but that's okay. And to test the ground wire I'm going to change the leads round and you measure it from the positive lead on the battery to the ground on the connection plug. And that's getting a good signal, 12 volts. So these are both okay. If you've got a lot less than that then you suspect the wires themselves going back to the ECU which you can then test for resistance if you're getting a low signal or continuity if you don't get anything at all. If you've got a G163 sensor, the test voltages and method are slightly different depending on which engine it is, but generally pin 1 is either 5 volts or 4.5 volts and I'll leave some information in the description for that. Anyways, taking the sensor off, I'm going to take the intercooler pipe off this TDI engine. I'm using a, an adjustable wrench on the clips. Take that out of the way, take the cam belt top cover off, it's held on by two clips, one at the front here and one more difficult to get at at the rear. Just jiggle it free. Now the position sensor is mounted just behind the timing belt. Just move these cables down here. The sensor is held in by a 10mm bolt at the top and a locating pin drilled into the block. The cable protruding from the rear of the sensor fits into a little slot on the cover backing plate which comes out halfway down the block on the front of the engine. To the bottom right of the slot is a little plug that you need to take out to remove the sensor. I'll show you the plug and the cable at the other side of the block. Just here. Here's the connector cable. 
I'm going to knock the plug out first, do that from the cam belt side with some sort of blunt instrument and just push it out. It's made of tough plastic, it's not rubber, so you need a bit of force and it should just pop out. Here's the plug, I'll leave the OEM number in the description in case you need a new one. So we just need a little 10mm socket for the bolt holding the sensor on. I'm using a quarter inch wrench and a very short extension. Be very careful when you take the bolt out. First thing I'm going to do is put a rag down here so if I drop the bolt out I'll be able to save it. You can actually see the bolt head between the cam belt and the head viewed from the top. Slowly undo that until you're on the final threads. Then what I did to give me more control was detach the wrench and just use the short extension to take out the bolt as you don't want to drop this. Carefully withdraw the bolt. Here it is, you can see it's got Loctite on it. Waggle the sensor loose and it will come off its little peg. Push down into the hole and then withdraw the connection out of the hole on the backing plate. Here's the sensor, make sure you get the right one for your car. Putting it back together, put the sensor in at this end first. Align this sensor in the peg. Fit a new bolt if you can as it comes with fresh Loctite. Don't forget to take that rag out. I'm going to put a little bit of grease on this bung just to help it go back in. It is a bit fiddly and I held it with two fingers. Make sure it clicks back into place as you want to protect the cam belt from any oil or water getting in. There we go, that's in nicely. Wipe any excess grease off the inside of the plug. Refit the connector, it only goes in one way, 
make sure it clicks into place and then refit it back onto the bracket. Putting the cover back on you've got to make sure the plastic goes into the slots at the front and the back and over the little lip on the top of the rocker cover. Keep jiggling it about until it seats nicely and then make sure both clips are clipped into place. Refit the intercooler and vacuum pipes and the job's done. All you've got to do is test it and enjoy the improvements. Hope this helped you out guys. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you on the next video.